had to do a video about it. There was no other way. However, what better way to do it than an actually um, edited video? I usually do the YouTube web editor, but for this two year anniversary, I've decided I am going to, well, tell my own personal history with the show. Now, nowadays, my channel seems like I've been a big fan the whole time, when I'm going to be totally honest here. It's a bit later to jump into the bandwagon than most people were. Yeah. I was not a big fan of the show when it originally came out. It was, in fact, a cartoon show that I liked, but I didn't love. And this pattern consisted for, like, the first 10 to 18 episodes. Yeah. It took me a while to get into it. Back in that day, I also was still a fan of Teen Titans Go! And, well, wasn't really someone who knew quality that well. Although I did know Breadwinner's crew was crap. I mean... <laughs> now as it comes down to it, it's time to finally discuss it. What got me into the show? What got me into Steven Universe, my biggest show on my channel? Well, this is what will I'll explain will happen. You see, I started watching the show when it first came out. I really did. I watched almost all the Cartoon Network shows then. And here's the thing. I did like it. And I still do like it. Except, why was I not a big fan of it compared to now? Was it not, um, enough? was it I didn't understand it? I always thought of it as a good show that needed a little something to push it over the edge. And here's the story of what did. My favorite episode of season 1 for a while, or season 1.5, no, season 1, um, was Coach Steven. Like, or Steve, season 1 original, not even, not counting Jailbreak. And I was, I loved Coach Steven, and it got me hooked on the show, because if you manage to have good music, you manage to hook me. And that says something about how my channel goes. I mean, it kind of helps. I've never been a, that big of a fan of the show, and I'm surprised. So, after Coach Steven brought me in, it took Warp Tour to give it the amazing edge. Warp Tour showed me truly the story arcs in it. I don't know what happened first, on the run or Warp no, it was Warp Tour. And yeah, Warp Tour brought me into the fandom, and yeah, that's when it became my favorite Cartoon Network show. Now it still had a huge rival than Gravity Falls, and now it does, and I'll explain the act part later on. But it's kind of interesting. So after its rivalry with Gravity Falls started for me, I waited a little while until the first Steven Bomb. Monday was probably one of the best of that bomb was probably one of the best days in animation history for me. Rose is scabbard and nobody seems came out. Which is big. Now of course this was the time when I was past Korra age, where Korra had officially ended and I was officially allowed to let my mind blossom about this kind of stuff. Now from the core days, we go through the Steven Bomb, which was per, which I watched consistently because I really liked the show. Yet, one of my biggest mistakes I regret on YouTube is not doing reviews of the Steven Bomb episodes. Because if I had, I probably would be on the maps. Yeah. I really, I really messed up there. As time goes on, I started to develop even more respect for the show. With finally starting to rival Gravity Falls during the off season and defeating it for a while. And for a while past that point, I was a major fan of the show too. The show helped keep me going during some times 
in my 10th grade school year, which weren't always the best. But my optimism stuck through it, trust me. I might go in depth on that later, but this show helped me a lot. And now we get to mo now, now a time. Sworn to the Swords happened and I adored it. Um, now the show is consistently my favorite show on t on TV with rivals from Star Wars Rebels and Gravity Falls and the Goldbergs, which I will get to. Um, but yeah, that's its history. I just want to say thank you. Rebecca Sugar, you've helped me a lot on this time. And I respect you. You're an amazing creator, and I'm very anxious to see what's to come. So thank you guys for watching this video. I just thought I needed to get these thoughts out. Entertainment Lord, out.